Hello, we are now in the last leg of job analysis and within this we'll be taking job rotation and job evaluation. Well, to begin with job rotation. Job rotation is a management approach where employees are shifted between two or more jobs at regular intervals of time in order to expose them to all verticals of an organization. It is a pre-planned approach with an objective to test the employee's skills and competencies in order to place him or her at the right place. It reduces the monotony of the job and gives them a wider experience and helps them gain more insights. Now looking at the job rotation objectives. Very first being reducing monotony of the job. Well, it allows employees to experience different type of jobs and motivates them to perform well at each stage of job replacement. The second objective is succession planning. The concept of succession planning is who will replace whom. Its main function of job rotation is to develop a pool of employees who can be placed at a senior level when someone gets retired or leaves the organization. The idea is to create an immediate replacement of a high worth employee from within the organization, creating right employee job fit. Now the success of an organization depends on the on-job productivity of its employees. If they are rightly placed, they'll be able to give maximum output. Another main function of job rotation process is to expose workers to all verticals or operations of the organization in order to make them aware how company operates and how tasks are performed. Testing and analyzing employee skills and competencies and then assigning them the work that they excel at is one of the major functions of job rotation process. It is done by moving them to different jobs and assignments and determining their proficiency and aptitude. Placing them what they are best at increases their own job productivity. Now looking at the benefits of job rotation in brief. Firstly, it helps managers to explore the hidden talent. It helps individuals to explore their interests. It identifies knowledge, skills and attitudes and it motivates employees to deal with new changes. Now coming to job evaluation. Well, job evaluation is a systematic way of determining the value or worth of a job in relation to other jobs in an organization. It tries to make a systematic comparison between jobs to assess their relative worth for the purpose of establishing a rational pay structure. Now looking at the objectives of job evaluation. First, to identify and eliminate salary related inequalities. Secondly, maintenance of a consistent career and employee growth policy. Thirdly, establishment of sound foundation for variable pays such as incentives and bonus. Now looking at the methods of job evaluation, there are basically two types of methods, non-quantitative and quantitative. Under non-quantitative methods, a job is compared as a whole with other jobs in the organization. Well, one of the non-quantitative methods is Ranking method. Well, the ranking method is the simplest form of job evaluation. In this method, each job as a whole is compared with other and this comparison of jobs goes on until all the jobs have been evaluated and ranked. All jobs are ranked in order of the importance from the simplest to the hardest or from the highest to the lowest. Now another non-quantitative method is 
grading method. Now under this method, job grades or classes are established by an authorized body or committee appointed for this purpose. A job grade is defined as a group of different jobs of similar difficulty or requiring similar skills to perform them. Job grades are determined on the basis of information derived from job analysis. Now in the case of quantitative methods, the key factors of a job are selected and then measured. Now point rating is one of the quantitative methods. Under this, jobs are broken down based on various identifiable factors such as skill, effort, training, knowledge, hazards, responsibility, etc. And thereafter, points are allocated to each of these factors. Weights are given to factors depending on the importance to perform the job. Points so allocated to various factors of a job are then summed up. And the sum of points gives an index of the relative significance of the jobs that are rated. Another quantitative method is factor comparison. Well, this method is a combination of both ranking and point methods in the sense that it rates jobs by comparing them and makes analysis by breaking jobs into compensable factors. This system is usually used to evaluate white-collar professional and managerial positions. Well, with this, we have completed the unit of human resource environment in which we dealt with meaning of human resource management and its importance, understanding human resource management, importance of human resource to managers and their qualities, and how to deal with human resource challenges. We also looked at the various processes of HR planning and job analysis.